multi-million dollar construction project kicked off today in Clinton on one of its most traveled roads. Yeah, Shelby Riley, she spoke with community leaders about how long it's taken them to get this project rolling and the benefits they believe it will have for the community. Well, I'm glad to see it finally happen. Like I said, we've been working on this project for five years, and uh, to see it come together like this is great. After being in the works for five years, Clinton kicked off an in-dot project Tuesday morning that will repair the area of 9th Street, an area that Mayor Jack Guilfoy says needed a major facelift. During this project, we will put all new sidewalks, curbs, streets, water lines, ADA ramps, and uh, there is some trolley rails underneath the pavement here. We're going to take all those out before we repave. This $2.5 million project will go from 9th and Vine Streets to 9th and Anderson in Phase 1. It will also replace old water infrastructure they were able to identify during a water study. Um, initially, we were going from Vine Street to Knowles uh, with one complete project uh, in order to leverage some additional funding from a different source from NDOT to help the city get more funding. Uh, we've broken it up into two phases. Gilfoy and Smith both say 9th Street is one of the city's most popular streets as it is the place to go for events such as the Little Italy Festival. A lot of the uh, old Italian and heritage is, is uh, part of the 9th Street area. And, and we've got a lot of commercial businesses here. So uh, improving the accessibility, uh, sidewalks, a, a, as well as drainage, and, and the roadway itself, fixing all that was addressing some critical needs. Breaking this project up into two phases was important to ensure the festival could still happen at its full capacity and that residents still had access to local businesses. The second phase will be from 9th and Anderson Streets to 9th and Knowles, which Smith says will likely start at the beginning of 2024. It's a big investment for the city and it's going to be a big uplift for this whole area down through here. It'll be a little inconvenience for a while, but in the end it's going to be well worth it for the residents. And leadership hope. Leaders rather hope that phase one will be completed by the Little Italy Festival in September. If for some reason it is not, Mayor Guilfoy says the festival will still happen in full swing and they'll reopen the road for all the festivities.